and welcome to another lesson from Class on Demand. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a really cool transition that's very simple but very effective. I, uh, I got these ideas from the, uh, the television show in America called Home Improvement. So we'll call it a Home Improvement style wipe. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you how to do this. Pretty cool. Let's see that again. You see how the hand comes up and pulls the video right off? I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. Very effective and very cool. And once again, instead of a hand, you could use a toilet plunger, you could use a broomstick, anything that you can put on a chroma key. All this is, is I shot my hand coming up on a chroma key screen. And all we're doing, and I'll show you why here in a second, is I'm reaching up and I'm just curling my fingers and at the point where my fingers curl is where I'm going to grab the video and pull it down. But notice that I don't pull my arm down. What we're going to do instead is we're going to use a DVE to actually pull my hand off of there. And the reason for that is I'm going to be pulling the video that my hand is grabbing at exactly the same rate. So what I can do is I can cut and paste the attributes from that DVE to make sure that they time perfectly. Now I could do this, you know, and have my hand pull off and then have to go through and keyframe very carefully the video to match up the video as it's pulling down there. You see how it's doing that? But what we want to do instead is make it really easy. And that's what this lesson is all about. You see how my hand locks in like my finger right here is on his eyeball and it never leaves that eyeball? That's what we want because that gives you that really good illusion that my hand is actually grabbing that and pulling it down, okay? And if the timing is off where the background video is moving at a different speed than my hand or vice versa, then it's going to kind of lose the effect. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Let's, uh, let's go in and once again, all I did was shoot my hand on a green background, okay? So I pull it up on the screen. And then I curl my fingers. You see how it does that? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to use that clip. We're going to drop a couple of video clips on the timeline. This is the video clip right here that what we're going to do is we're going to pull this clip down. My hand is going to be over that. What we're going to do is we're going to double click on this and turn on my chroma key. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn that on. I've already got my settings set up in here. You guys can set that up whatever works best for you. But I've just enabled my chroma key here, and you can see that my hand is on that is on a uh, black background because I want to turn off solo so I can see through to whatever is underneath there, which is my uh, which is my guy here. So you'll see that my hand comes up there, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit OK. So now the chroma key is turned on. It's going to render a little bit here. That's what this green is for. Okay, now you'll see my hand comes up, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to start by wherever my hand, when my hand curls right there, that's where I'd want to start grabbing my video clip in the background. Okay, that's when I'm going to start pulling my hand down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the clip that's underneath it by clicking on it once. I'm going to hold my shift button down and I'm going to click the other clip that's on top of it. This is my hand on the top, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to slice those both at the same time. Now you'll see, if I move outside of here, you'll see how they're both cut at exactly the same time, okay? Now, once again, we're using Pinnacle Studio 16 on this, but this will work on Avid Studio or virtually any other editing product that has a chroma key and your ability to keyframe DVEs. DVEs are digital video effects. This is creating your own, okay? You know, a lot of these programs come with a bunch of effects. I personally like to make my own because they're custom that way. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to double-click on the short little clip that I sliced off. This is the part that I'm going to pull off of the screen with my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. This is my background video. Double click on it. 
Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my 2D, 3D. This is my DVE area. Go into 2D Editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to No Preset. Let's go to Position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable my keyframes, okay? So now I've just created a keyframe in this position right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of my little clip here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that down vertically. Cool. Get it to where it's just off the screen, and now what you'll see is that my animal pulls down off the screen. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit OK. And what you'll see is you see this little mark right here? Let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's just grab this a little bit so you can zoom in so you can see a little bit more of this. You see this little pink mark here where it says FX for all you Pinnacle Studio users and Avid Studio users? This means that there's an effect on here. And what we can do in 16 is we can actually copy this effect and we can use it to actually clone that downward movement of the background video to the hand and that way they'll both be moving at exactly the same rate so it'll look like the hand is pulling it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up there to the top where the FX comes up, right click and you're going to go under Effect, Copy All. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go onto the hand under Effect and you're going to right click. The reason that you see that little pink uh, line up there right now is because this has got an effect of the chroma key on it. So we're actually going to have more than one effect on here. What we're going to do here is we're going to hit paste. Okay. And what it just did was it actually pasted the same effect that was on um, our prairie dog down here onto uh, the hand. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, is a prairie dog, but that's what we're going to call it today. So now watch what happens when I pull this down. You see how it locks the hand right to the video in the background? And that's basically the effect. So let's once again go through this again. So we're going to basically come in here. We're going to, right where the hand is fully curled, that's where I'm going to slice this plus my background video. And notice how they're exactly the same length of time. That way it makes it really easy for when I pull down with the hand, it actually pulls the prairie dog at the same time too. And what it's doing then is exposing this wildlife WMV underneath. So when it pulls down, it must expose this video, which is this right down here. Real simple to do. So let's play that back. And here you go. Hand comes up pulls it down, and that's it. And once again, it's that simple. Anything that you can put on a chroma key background, you could put, a, like we said, a toilet plunger, a paintbrush, it could be a hand, you could be doing this sideways. Um, it's a great technique to be doing all sorts of cool things to get a video uh, to pull off of a screen, or by the way, do just the opposite and push it on. If you like these videos, join our YouTube channel, our Class On Demand YouTube channel, which is probably where you're seeing this video. You could also be seeing us on Facebook. So what I'd like you to do is go to Facebook and like us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Class On Demand, and then go like us. And then make sure that we show up in your news feed by clicking on the like button and selecting that as well. That way, every time we add something cool, and it happens all the time to our Facebook page, you'll get an update on that. And lastly, if you really like this, go purchase the complete training for Pinnacle Studio 16 or any of our other products on classondemand.com. We go into great depth and detail, and if you think this stuff was cool, Wait till you get into the complete training. It's unbelievable. You're going to learn how to edit just like the pros do. Make sure you let us know how you like this stuff. I'm Paul Holtz from Class on Demand. Have a great day.